next video in my fast track series. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply the mohair to your poly dolly. So what you need to uh, do your mohair on your dolly is you need your mohair yarn. Now if you're doing the girl dolly you'll get two balls um, plus, a, plus a crochet yarn and if you're doing the boy dolly you'll just get the one ball um, with the crochet yarn. So your mohair, your crochet yarn for making the cap, you're going to need a crochet hook which is this is a 3.5 size, you'll need some pearl head pins for marking out the hairline and then an air erasable marker pen for drawing in that hairline and then you're going to need a matching thread to sew on the uh, mohair cap. First things first, I've pinned in her hairline all the way across the front and around the back. Do bear in mind children's foreheads are quite high so your uh, pin line, uh, pins need to be quite high up into the forehead. Bring this side parallel down to the top of the ear but leave a gap and then when you're coming around the back also leave a gap there as well and that goes up to about one centimetre um, from the neck edge. And then what you can do, you can actually fine line um, the shape of the hairline that way you can take the pins out because sometimes the pins do get in the way when you're trying to sew that first line of mohair on so yeah just join the dots with your pins all the way around and then you can take your pins out much easier to work with around the back okay so hairline drawn in it's an it's an air erasable marker pen I wouldn't suggest doing it with a proper pen because then that mark would always be there so this line is going to disappear within the next couple of hours okay so hairline drawn in. Now on to crocheting the chain cap. So you need to measure six meters from your ball of mohair. So once you've measured out your six meters, then you need to put a safety pin in at six meters so you know where that is. Then, at the beginning of the yarn, leave a length about 20 centimeters or so, and do your slip knot. Then you take your crochet hook, and you continue to make a chain. Now it's a little bit it can be a little bit lumpy and bumpy because obviously the nature of the yarn is a looped boucle so you'll find that your chain will probably be quite loose that's absolutely fine so you're just going to crochet the whole length of those of that six meter length that you've just rolled off so keep going until the six meters is done So I'm just coming to the end now of my chain to where that uh, safety pin is. So I know that I've crocheted six meters of the mohair. So I can just take that pin out now. That was just to give me a rough guide. Okay, so on to sewing this section on first. So just pull that into a bigger loop. There. Take the start of your chain that's got the, the loose piece on it. So you, there's no need to sink that piece because that will act as um, part of her hair lengths. So following your marked pen line, 
or your pins if you're just leaving the pins in you start to sew the chain on around that line so I do I do a variety of different stitches so sometimes I do a back stitch sometimes I just do a slip stitch I don't really think about what I'm doing when I'm working on sewing my chain on but you must remember to pull the chain as you sew, as you sew each stitch pull it so that it's nice and tight and you're going right the way through the chain so each stitch give it a pull so we're just coming around this top bit stretch and stitch stretch and stitch making sure that when you come to that sort of angle bit there where the ear is you do take it off to that angle so I always put a couple of extra stitches in here just to hold that angle in shape and start bringing it around the side My line is just about fading, but I can just still see it slightly. Okay, so we're coming to the starting point. So we're just going to take it to that starting point. And bring it up now into our second round. So we're putting the chain close to the first round. Stretch in. And making our stitch. I'm going to continue on with this second round. So I've done my second round and I'm now going into my third round. Now into fourth round. So I've come to the end of my fourth round, now this is the last round of where the mohair chain is stopping but what I want to do is make sure that that chain is going to go all the way round over the top of her head and as you can see it's not quite going down to the other side so I know that that was a six metres that I crocheted, I just need to crochet, crochet some more so I can get that crochet chain that fifth round coming to at least down towards the back here past her ear so I'm now going to continue to re carry on crocheting some more of the looped mohair so I've crocheted some more mohair so I now know that that going right the way around there is going to come 
towards the back of her head. So that will be fifth round. So leaving her to the side there, I'm now going to continue to crochet in the crochet yarn. So I cut my looped mohair, give it about a 20 centimetre length, cut that off, don't need that one anymore. Take my crochet yarn, and I'm now going to start crocheting this cotton yarn instead of the looped mohair. Just going to tie that off in a knot where I've joined those two together. So that won't slip and that will stay where it's put. Now I'm going to continue to crochet the whole ball of that crochet yarn. It's a cotton yarn, so I'm just going to crochet the whole thing. Okay, so we're just coming to the end of the crochet yarn. I've crocheted it all up. So if you're unsure about how to do a chain, it's really easy. You just take your hook loop the thread around the hook, pull it through, loop around, pull it through, loop round, pull through and that's all there is to making a crochet chain. So I'm just going to pull a, through, a large loop through, just leave that there hanging like that. So now I'll be working with this cotton yarn that leads on from the looped mohair yarn. So we will continue with that round there which is round five then as it gets towards the back there we're going to be continuing in with the cotton yarn. So I'm continuing now with the cotton yarn so when I got to the join I sunk the tail of the crochet yarn, the cotton yarn, into the head. I split it in half because it's easier to, to thread through and I just sunk it under the head, pulled it out and snipped it off. So now I'm continuing to sew the cotton yarn on. So as I do like before, give it a stretch, a little back stitch, give it a stretch, little back stitch. Make sure that you do stretch that cotton yarn because if you don't, if you don't pull it and don't stretch it, you won't have enough and you'll run out. So with each stitch that you do, make sure you give it a little pull, get it nicely stretched and then do your stitch. So I'm now going to keep on continuing to work this cotton yarn all the way around in a spiral right to the top. Okay, so we're just coming up to the end now. I kept my chains nice and tight, kept my spirals nice and tight, sorry, so there's not much of a gap in between each of the rounds. Just going to do a couple of little stitches here. Okay, so you can see that the, the rounds are really close together all the way through and I've also managed to keep my chain really flat so I've been sort of untwisting it as I go. So then what you need to do is Take the remainder of your chain, so I've got this much left and because we didn't fasten it off at the end we can just take our end and we can just pull that right the way back, keep going till we get to where we finished, so we just pull that back, 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 back. 
I'm going to grab my crochet hook, pull that loop a bit bigger, cut off my excess and just pull that through. And then we need to sink that tail so like we did at the starting point which was here because that's quite thick to pull through I'm just going to cut a bit of that length off I used my darning needle and I just separated that into a more manageable chunk let's go through with the sharp end So I'm just separating that into two pieces and then take my darning needle and I will just sink that into the head and out the other side. Give that a snip off. Same with this one. I can pick the needle up. Come in. There we go. Sink that down into the head. Bring it out. Give it a pull. Snip that off. And then I can now fasten off my chain. Fasten that off nice and tightly, a few little stitches, that's not going to go anywhere now. Sink that yarn end. Okay, so that's what we had left with our um, crochet yarn. Ooh. She's got some fluff touch to her which I will sort out in a minute okay so there you go so that was the the end point um, where the cotton yarn and the looped mohair met that was my starting point there and now she's got a nice spiral chain around her head all nice and closely um, aligned so prior to doing it with the cotton yarn and the looped mohair we used to do it with the, the brushable yarn, which we still have in stock. Um, again, it matches all the mohair colour. So if you would prefer to use the brushable yarn, um, this is what we use for, we sell this for Molly. So it's still available. And in my original um, video series, this is what we used to cover the whole of the head. So this was crocheted up um, and then this was used um, to to do the complete uh, crochet cap in the spiral so if you prefer that method this yarn is still available that means obviously that you won't be needing to cut away six meters from your main bowl so that will just give you a little bit more hair length um, to add to her hair so uh, yeah but in the kits in the uh, pre-made kits you are going to get the crochet um, yarn with the looped mohair Okay, so I've cut all my hair lengths from my two balls and I'm now ready to attach them to my dolly's head. Okay, so with my crochet hook, my 3.5 crochet hook, I'm going to start at the back of the ear and I'm going to pop my crochet hook through the chain. So it's going through the chain, pick up a length hook it round, pull it through, hook it over and I'm leaving about a centimetre gap as I work along so roughly just a centimetre on this first round And I'm going to work all the way around the complete complete bottom edge 
of that um, first round of chain. So that's our first round done and already just with that one round um, it's looking good. So for the second round again starting around about the ear side I'm going into the the not going into the first chain I'm going up a chain So I'm now going to continue with this all the way round So that's two rounds done. For this next round, I am going to just continue to work from that ear up over the top, down to that ear, a couple more rows there. And I'm now going to continue to just work in this area here. So this front triangle here, I'm going to do this and I'm going to miss a row. I'm going to do one row, two centimetre gap in, miss a row, next row, two centimetre gaps, and so on and so on. Okay, so along the top here, if you can see, I've done every other chain with a two centimetre gap all the way through. Okay, so it does look quite patchy. You sort of think, oh, is that going to be enough? But yeah, plenty. So, miss a chain, have a two centimetre gap. And then you can see that when our hair goes back, you know, look at how full that is already. Okay, so it's still got a lot more hair to go, but basically, because I've done that front section there now, you don't see any of the, the crochet chain. That's well hidden in there. Okay, so now I'm going to continue to work on this strip along the back here. So miss a chain, two centimetre gap. Miss a chain, two centimetre gap. So I sort of alternate my um, lengths that I put in. So one there, two centimetre gap, one there, and then the next one on the chain above is going to go, two chains above is going to go there. So it's sort of missing every time. Okay, let's crack on. Okay, so I've done around that side bit there, and we've just got this little circular bit at the top here left, and I've got this much left to work with. Okay, so same as before, every other row, two centimetre gap. So when you've completed Okay, I've still got that much left, so, so as you can see she's got loads of hair, loads and loads and loads of hair. The cotton yarn is now completely covered, can't see that, she's got no bald patch, completely filled, so with the, um, with the bits that you've got left you can then go back in especially on this top bit here just go back in and just fill in any more of those gaps okay so if you've got any sort of like bigger gaps there that you want to fill in then use your, your spare bits also if because I mean she's gonna have her hair up 
that's your normal poly anyway but if you decide you wanted to have her hair I don't know with bunches and she's always going to have her hair down like that so that's the style that she's always going to be kept in with little bunches there at the sides then with your leftovers you can then start filling in this sort of area here knowing that that's where the hair is going to be parted over but she's having her hair up so I'm just going to work through and just use those last bits up and fill in any of the gaps in the front there so there she is what a wonderful amount of hair she has yes so um making sure that you do have that two centimeter space in and you miss every other um, chain row and then you won't run out and you'll have enough to uh, do your complete poly dolly head so in the next video I'm going to be showing you how to finish her off tie up her hair put a little bow in add some blusher and get her dressed okay thanks for watching my lovelies and I'll see you again soon bye